This morning, we're getting a closer look at the state attorney's office newly launched transparency dashboard. We spoke with Melissa Nelson. She says the project's goal is to show taxpayers which cases her prosecutors are pursuing and how often the office gets convictions. News for Jackson reporter Ashley Harding joins us live from outside the state attorney's office downtown. Ashley, the site provides data in many areas. It really does. Jennifer and Alicia, good morning to you both. It talks about everything from diversion successes and data about racial and ethnic differences. Also case dismissals, really a number of separate issues right here, right here at the state attorney's office. And Nelson says this project is her, her has been working on this project with her office has been going on since she was elected. Welcome to the transparency dashboard for the state attorney's office. From the get go, state attorney Melissa Nelson laid out her goal in launching her office's new transparency website, a go to guide for viewing data patterns and prosecution right at your fingertips. So some of them are how we're doing with diversion alternatives to prosecution. Um, some of them include gun crime, what it looks like in our community. Um, many of them have to do with um, measuring whether or not disparities exist with racial and ethnic minorities throughout the decision-making spectrum um, of those decisions we make as prosecutors. The website breaks issues down tab by tab. Under racial and ethnic differences, the clearest trend we could find was this graph, with the dark blue boxes showing black defendants served longer prison sentences for felonies. The light blue box showing in 2018 symbolized a period where they received shorter sentences. With Hispanic defendants, the difference is even more noticeable. In looking at victims and pursuing cases where the victims were minorities, this graph shows the percent is roughly 50-50 with white victims. The website also talks about the number of cases where there were dismissals and the number of defendants who were diverted as opposed to ordered to serve time behind bars. Nelson says the goal is to see what's working and where adjustments are needed. A couple of years ago, that as it relates to diversion, and that's the opportunity we offer um, some defendants to actually circumvent the traditional uh, criminal justice system, that diversion was... Um, for minority populations, it wasn't being accepted at, or offered at the same rate. And the website also reveals the trends in terms of how long it takes for cases to process and also crimes against children and also against crimes who are of a lower economic status. To see this for yourself, head to our website, newsforjax.com, where we posted the link. I'll send it back to you in the studio.